Hi everyone, welcome to Diagnose Quiz. This is Preplada's attempt to give you a fun learning experience. In this video, I'll be showing you two questions in the connect round. And as that reminds me, there's going to be a series of videos which will be uploaded on a weekly basis. So do not forget to subscribe to this channel and to click the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload these videos. Let's first check what are the rules of the connect round. The rules are very simple. I will be showing you three images based on must-know processes or must-know phenomena or must-know disorders. All that you're expected to do is connect those three images and find out the right answer, in which case you get 15 points. If you know the right answer but you're able to connect only two images, you get 10 points. You know the right answer but with only one image which is connected, then you get 5 points. So what are you going to do? As soon as I show you those three images, pause the video, give yourself 45 seconds time. Find out the right answer, type the right answer in the comment section, come back to check the right answer. For every right answer, I've also given you a bonus question, which is a conceptual question based on the right answer. If you get the bonus question also right, you get additionally 20 points. I am very curious to know how much you all score. There are three images. Pause the video. Type the answer in the comment section and come back. For those of you who have come back, one image is of Charlie Chaplin walking, right? You see Charlie Chaplin walking. That is Charlie Chaplin gate. And what is that you see here? A person swirling the lens outside. So that stands for ectopia lentis. And the third one is an image which talks about young stroke. Young, M-I, young stroke. So what is this triad? Charlie Chaplin gate, ectopia lentis, young, M-I. The answer would be homocystinuria. Because homocystinuria is characterized by flat foot and hence Charlie Chaplin gate. Ectopia lentis, infronasal dislocation of the lens in homocystinuria. Accelerated atherosclerosis and accelerated thrombosis, both of which are features of homocystinuria, will present itself as young stroke and young MI. So the take-home message for all of you is homocystinuria presents as accelerated atherosclerosis, accelerated thrombosis, flat foot Charlie Chaplin gate, ectopia lentis. Now the bonus question. Pause the video for 30 seconds, come back and check your right answer. The question is homocystinuria response to B6 and B12 administration, why? The rationale is homocysteine has to be converted to either cysteine or to methionine to avoid the ill effects of homocystinuria. For you to convert homocysteine to cysteine, you need cystathione and beta synthase which is dependent on B6. For you to convert homocysteine to methionine, you need methionine synthase, which is dependent on B12 and folate. So whenever you see a patient with homocystinuria, start supplementing the individual with B6, B12 and folate. Let's start discussing the last one, the 6. So give yourself 45 seconds time. Let me start from here. There is a fish with an eye that stands for fish eye disease. Yeah, that stands for fish eye disease. And then there is a cat with L. This stands for L cat. I've told you this so many times. L cat deficiency will present as fish eye disease. How did I, how did I ask you to remember this? The favorite food of cat is fish. So L cat deficiency will present as fish eye disease or corneal opacity. On lipoprotein electrophoresis, LCAT deficiency will present with an abnormal band that is caused by lipoprotein X. I don't know how many of you have watched this movie. This is a very old movie X. So this stands for lipoprotein X. So what is this triad? This triad stands for LCAT deficiency. So what is the take home message for all of you? LCAT deficiency can present itself as partial LCAT deficiency and as complete LCAT deficiency. Partial LCAT deficiency will present as fish eye disease. Cat and fish, fish eye disease with corneal opacity. Complete LCAT deficiency will also present as fish eye disease. But additionally, you see homo hemolytic anemia and chronic kidney disease. Okay, let's check the bonus question. Give yourself 30 seconds time. Tell me the right answer. Complete LCAT deficiency presents with chronic kidney disease. Why? The reason for chronic kidney disease and complete LCAT deficiency is accumulation of lipoprotein X in the mesangial. 
that stimulates antigen antibody complex to be formed and that kidney damage causes chronic kidney disease. So let me see how much you have scored in the comment section and I hope this helped you. These visual cues will be there in your memory forever. Thank you.